All right, welcome to Principles of Managerial Accounting, uh, BA 213. I'm your instructor, Darren Bell, and I'm here to walk you through kind of the getting started portion of this course. So as you log on to Canvas, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the Getting Started button here. Okay, so we're going to walk through the Getting Started uh, kind of module here. So we'll go ahead and click on Next. So I'm going to post this video here. Uh, you don't need to worry about it so much. If you do want to come back and review right, the video as many times as possible, feel free to do that. So one thing you're going to need to do is get to this next page. So this is about the textbook. So for this course, uh, you have the option of buying the hard copy textbook or just going with the course code that has the uh, ebook along with it. And so to get started on this, you're going to want to click on the link here on this page. So the link is going to send you to kind of a sign up page. If you've ever used McGraw Hill Connect before, uh, then you're going to use that uh, login information that you've already set up. If not, then it's going to set up an account for you right now. You're going to have an option as you go through this to put in the code. If you already bought the code from the uh, bookstore, you can buy the code online. Or you can uh, use the, the courtesy 14-day access. And so that's free access for 14 days until you get that code secured or figure out what you're going to do with it. So the code, I'll just let you know that the code, um, the price for the code on the website here is going to be uh, really the cheapest you're going to find it. So the bookstore is not any cheaper. You're going to go out online. There's really not any place you're going to be able to find it less expensive. So just so you know that. They've got, uh, the, the publishers kind of got that um, locked down anyways for, for the price of their code. So that's where you're going to want to start from the book. So you need to have the Access Connect uh, access code to be able to do your homework and your exams. Okay, so we're going to start. This is uh, going to kind of be the, the details with your assignment. So if you've already done uh, principles of financial accounting, this should be relatively familiar. So we're going to do, um, for each chapter, you're going to have a smart book. Uh, sometimes it's called Learn Smart Assignment, depending on where you're looking in the, in the product. So that's going to be a study assignment. And the study assignment really is going to be something you're going to need to work through and just kind of grind through and, and complete all of the questions that are part of that assignment. Um, and the learning um, assignment there. And once you get all those done, it's 100%. So you should be able to get 100% of every single one of those. You move on to the, the homework, which is more of... Um, the uh, the study uh, their exercise assignments the problem sets right is really what this is so that's going to be um, that's going to be uh, you're going to work through that and if you have any problems with that definitely reach out to me I'll be able to help you with that not a problem we'll give you some guidance on that next every chapter is also going to have a quiz at the very end that's going to be multiple choice uh, true false those kind of things uh, between the homework assignments or the exercise assignments and the quizzes that's really what's going to uh, be looking like the exams right so you're in this course you're going to have uh, your exams and on each exam you're going to have multiple attempts three attempts right and you can take those exams anytime anywhere so there, there is a layer of uh, proctoring software that works with the Connect product that you're going to have to use. But uh, besides that, you're going to take them anytime, anywhere. Uh, the last one on here is, is the weekly journal entry. This weekly journal entry is really the only thing that actually has a, a due date every week. right? So a Sunday, uh, by the end of Sunday midnight, you need to get that a weekly journal in. It doesn't mean you have to do it on Sunday. You can do it earlier. Uh, just don't do it later. right? So get that done every week. Uh, a lot of the students that are have in-class um, assignments with me, or in-class uh, the in-class live option with me, will you know maybe do this in their last uh, class period. So if they have a Monday Wednesday class, they're getting this weekly journal done done uh, Wednesday, for example, or Tuesday Thursday students. A lot of times they'll do it Thursday before they leave. Um, so just uh, just some ideas there. Okay, so once you get done with with this, right, what you're going to need to look and uh, finish this quiz 
the welcome quiz on here. A couple of places to look to help you answer some of the questions on that is going to be here on the left side. It's uh, the syllabus link. Under the syllabus, you're going to be able to, uh, that link, you're going to be able to uh, have this link here. So that's actually for like a, a more traditional looking syllabus. It's going to have my office hours on there and some other contact information for me. Everything in one place, kind of in a, in a Word document. The course schedule will line things out so you can kind of see that on a date by date basis on the kind of what to do this week and when should I be working on the exams to kind of stay in um, to have everything uh, done in order and on time uh, if you want to kind of spread things out during the term uh, with this really the um, like I said before the journal entries are going to be due every week the other assignments chapter by chapter the, the goal is to get a chapter done per week uh, but if you do fall behind a little bit, there is some flexibility, so you're not going to have points taken off for it being late. So if there are some chapters that are going to take you a little longer, spend a little more time on it, finish it up, and then just kind of plan on uh, filling that, getting that time uh, made up at, in other chapters. So um, so anyways, so that's the schedule. Um, of course, make sure you know the academic calendar, important dates. There's a link for those as well out there. Um, as you see, really the due date uh, in in this, the due date for everything is the the last day of the term. Okay, so the last day of the, the term is the due date for all the exams and everything. So that means that doesn't mean you, you do it on the last day, right? Definitely not. So that means you're going to be hopefully scheduling it out, getting a chapter done per week, working your quizzes in there. There's four quizzes, and about two chapters. The very last uh, uh, exam, sorry, not quizzes. The le very last exam. It has three chapters as part of it. So every, uh, the first three, just two chapters, right? So schedule those out, um, get them done, and uh, stay on track. So it, really the, the onus is, is on you to be able to manage your time and make sure you're doing about a chapter a week, um, a little less than a chapter a week, actually, to be honest, on that and just to fit in your exams as well. So um, yeah, so hopefully that helps. Get on the syllabus and uh, the schedule. That will help you as well. Uh, there are announcements that I'll be sending out weekly to kind of hopefully nudge you as well and keep you on track. If there's any questions at all, uh, here going back to the home uh, page here. Uh, go on my page. Go on my link here, Mr. Bell. Right. That's going to set up. You're going to be able to see my office hours for the current term. Uh, I've got to switch that up. That's so office hours, you're going to have my phone number here and my email. So reach out. Uh, I can set up a Zoom uh, meeting for you if you want to meet via Zoom or if you want to meet just uh, to talk over the phone or if you want to uh, come in live into my office. We can definitely do that as well. So all right. Well, good luck in the class. It's super exciting to have you in this managerial accounting class. I think it'll be uh, a lot of good things to learn. and. Um, yeah, if you have any questions again, reach out to me and we will help you out. Thank you. Bye.